uh, everybody knows that who's been watching my channel from day one but for some reason this battery keeps dying on me now i think it's got to do with my charger which has been the problem maybe from day one but now this thing is without charge at least it's about six volts and it sticks there there's no way you can start a bike with this but also you can't uh, hotwire it with a acid battery or a gel battery but there is a trick to get this thing back alive and i'll show you that right now all right so this is what we're using this is my battery um, it's been drained even though it's been on the charger so i don't know why that happens i think that's a problem with my charger but the battery is now at a low level where i can't do anything with it and we can just check that with the uh, multimeter and it's 6.75 volts so uh, what we're going to need is a lithium battery from uh, a power tool so like a drill like this uh, this one by uh, parkside by little the main thing is that it's a lithium battery which you can see here at the bottom that's the main thing uh, you can use any lithium battery from any brand uh, you can use the one from uh, Ryobi, just the same, it's got a different connection, but it'll work as well. Uh, I don't know if 20 volts or 18 volts or anything, that probably makes a difference, but for this exercise, it's, you only need to make a connection really short and then the thing comes, comes back to life. So and you need two pieces of wire to make the connection. Now you have to be sure to do this pretty quick. Uh, you only need to make a connection really fast. And these two wires you're going to connect are going to get hot really, really fast. So beware of that. These batteries always have a plus and a minus. As you can see, there's a minus here and a plus there. So um, we're going to use the outer left as the negative and the outer right as a positive. Keep this out of the way. I'm going to do the same with this one. I just need to make... Make it kind of pointy. Right, that's probably enough. Now, as soon as I make the connection with that uh, port, I've got no, I've got it wrong way around. Sorry. Pay attention. Minus, minus, minus. All right, that's enough. So I'm just going to check it again. All right, six, seven, five. Yeah. Now. I've already made a connection. So power is now transferring. And probably that's enough. Check it. There you go. 11.75. So that thing's back to life. Remove all the wires. And your battery's back up. Now why it works, I don't know. And why this keeps happening. That's how this is my charger. This is a NOCO Genius 1. It's got a special lithium, uh, lithium setting as well, but it will always drain this battery. So I usually thought it was the Moto Gadget in my GS450 because that's where this battery usually sits. But I think it's actually a charger. It's, it's faulty for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, this thing is back at 11 and a half volts, uh, nearly 12. Uh, I've already tested it. If I put this back in the bike, the bike will start. So. Of course, this is a small engine, so it doesn't need a lot of cranking power, but that's how you do it. Hope it helps you.